Hi. I'm glad here to have Bank New York Mellon uh, on, on our guest with one exciting, uh, exciting application. Uh, my name is Boris Tvaroška. I'm customer engineer and technical lead for AI ML in financial services. And Daniel, if you can introduce yourself. Yeah, sure. Um, hello, everyone. Thanks for having me here. Um, I am Anil, Anil Velala. I head up intelligent automation at Bank of New York Mellon. Um, it's a great atmosphere here, and thank you for signing up for this event. Uh, Bank New York Mellon is one of the largest financial institutions. Probably most of you are getting touched by the uh, Bank New York Mellon transactions by any way, but Anil, can you get a, give us a little bit of background on the bank? Yeah, absolutely. So BNY Mellon, or Bank of New York Mellon, is a global financial services company that helps make um, you know, money work for the uh, world. What I mean by it is you know, we are involved in managing it, um, uh, moving it, and safeguarding it. So it's a 250 years old uh, um, bank, uh, and we have been helping all our clients in managing their financial ambitions, right? Um, we help them uh, across all the financial services, um, needs they have. Uh, thank you. And when we are looking today on the generative AI, and mostly on, on, on the past as well, most of the generative AI applications are in the demonstration phase, uh, in the phase where we are running with uh, probably 1,000, maybe 2,000 users. Uh, Bank New York Mellon has 50,000 users, 50,000 uh, employees uh, on the bank. How those employees are able to find the right information? You, ha you are working with large, uh, other large banks. Uh, each of the bank has different procedures. You are working in different countries, different procedures. How those 50,000 people are able to r find the right information for their, for their work? Yeah, so it really goes back to um, um, units rooted in um, our firm's three pillars which is be more for our clients, run the company better, and power the culture. So this is an initiative LLM-based virtual assistant that's really for um, you know, powering the culture in the bank. So our employees, just like all of us here, have been using a lot of new AI tools in their personal life to, to make them efficient. We wanted to bring the same experience in the bank as well. So we built this virtual-based assistant to help people find the information. And so you have now unique, info, unique, unique experience, having the virtual assistant working with very sensitive data in the, in the financial industry, working with a large number of the users, getting the feedback from the users. How do you evolve, how, how does, how, a lot of the challenges with these applications. Yeah, how did sure. you address those so, challenges? So, I mean, it's quite a journey, right? So initially, as I said, you know, what we wanted to see is how can we help our employees find the information easier, right? So like any other large organization, especially you know, us, like 50,000 employees, we have a plethora of information in the bank, right? There's wealth of knowledge. Um, generally, like, you know, if you need to find information, it takes time, right? For example, if I need to know, you know what are my, um, take an example, I'm traveling now, you know, what's my per diem policy? Right? It takes time because you know, these things are embedded in large policies document. And we wanted to bring an experience where we move away from traditional search, such that instead of you searching for something and get a document that has 100 pages trying to find the answer, how can I get you the answer you need? Right? So that's where our journey started. Now, we had a good head start in the bank that you know, we were already using conversational AI at the bank. And uh, you know, on a traditional use cases, like you know, how do I reset my password? Um, how do I order a laptop? You know, how do I get the status of an incident? We were doing that. But then this Gen AI came. We took the leap um, in that and built the system such that we started to tap across all the knowledge that exists in the bank and started to get the information, right? Think about, we are also a public company. So we have very, um, you know, a lot of procedures and uh, uh, compliances, right? And if someone needs to get an answer to a particular question, how can I get them the right answer? Now, solution was pretty obvious. Hey, let's build an LLM-based virtual assistant, right? But how did how do you go about it? Was our single biggest challenge? You know, when we started, okay, which LLM to use? You know, which cloud provider to use? Should we do it on-prem? Should we do off-prem? There were a lot of these questions, and that's when collaboration with Google helped us 
because we already had inroads into the vert, uh, Vertex AI ecosystem. We had been using it for some time. So it became very easy for us to experiment it. You know, play around with the, with the models that is out there. You know, try it out, something working, not working. That is what helped us to get a quick, uh, you know, a jump start. Now, that was really only one problem to solve in my mind. But then after that, you know, how do you scale across? So we started a very small pilot with, you know, one department. For example, you know, we, we worked with our people experience team. How do I bring their information? Then we slowly expanded to my risk department, right? How do we bring the policy information into the thing? That one pilot led to another, and then slowly we started to expand. And what is current situation? You are covering all of the bank, you are covering all of 50,000 users? Yes. Um, yes, we have rolled it out across the bank, um, which is 50,000 employees. Now, again, you know, just to add, go back to the previous question too. When we started this, while we started to add more knowledge, we learned that there was a lot of things we had to do differently. Initially, we just saw that, you know, bring in all the knowledge, let's do the chunking, we are done. Only when we ran into a different kind of a document, we figured that, oops, chunking strategy doesn't work. So we had to change the chunking strategy, right? Again, for example, we had a very uh, interesting use case where the, it's a cafeteria menu, was very complex document, regular LLM parsing was struggling for us, right? So that's when we again, you know, Google helped with the document um, AI. We brought that in um, and start to solve that problem. But again, it's just beginning for us, I would say, because there's a lot more happening on a day-to-day -day basis. Coming back to your question, where are we going next? Mm -hmm. So today people use it, but whole feedback module or, you know, how well the virtual assistant is performing, we still do it manually in terms of, you know, reviewing the question. Where we want to get to is how do I apply AI itself to start understanding, you know, how well my virtual assistant is behaving. You know, is it answering right? Is it in the context? You know, is there a bias, right? So that's one next thing we are doing. Second thing is we are obviously going across remaining content in the bank, right? Just not unstructured, but even structured data we are going after it now. The third thing is, you know, having metrics. How do we produce all the metrics to make sure that it's visible to everyone. Which knowledge source is working? Which knowledge source is not working? What are our areas of improvement? You know, how do we tune the model? So it's a lot more coming. Yeah. Uh, in in some other areas, we see that the even the documents need some some uh, improvements, uh, improvement to be able to read for the LLMs to read them and even human beings. Have you seen that in your case? Uh, can you repeat the question? Uh, we, we see that documents actually need to be improved. The documents, how they are written, how they are tagged, etc. Absolutely. So again, that was part of our first learning, right? We initially thought that, you know, it's very quick to ingest the data. But remember, as I said, we had a lot of knowledge in the bank, or we still have, obviously, a lot of knowledge in the bank. Not everything was curated for the LLM to work or search to work or even for normal human to, to view the information because when... Human is looking the information. Let me take an example, right? I need um, a policy. My India-based employee needs some policy information, right? He knows that, you know, go to the portal, go to the India website, and get the information. But LLM, LLM doesn't know that necessarily, unless the data has that information. So it's a backward thing we started to work to give the feedback to my knowledge management folks, content owner folks that, hey, you need to start redefining, you know, how you are storing the content. You got to add more tags, for example. You know, you need to add more metadata. That's how the virtual assistant is becoming smarter and smarter. So recently we solved the problem that now if I go and ask for a policy information, it knows that it's Anil based out of New York, so he must be looking for New York policy. Mm -hmm. If my EMEA-based employee is asking for an information, it understands that, okay, this person is based out of UK, and that's the policy information he needs. So that's a backward improvement that has started to happen in the bank. Okay. Very good. Thank you. And uh, we are now open for the, for the questions.